everybody. This is Captain Fred, your host for Aviation Theater and a proud member of the San Diego Aerospace Museum, the first place to visit when you come to San Diego. We have a good program for you today, and we'll get started right after this important message. <laughs> Model airplanes is the second largest active hobby in the United States. Surpassed only by bowling, it is no longer rubber band, balsa wood, and tissue paper technology. Today's model planes are state-of-the-art products. They were even used in Desert Storm, equipped with miniature spy cameras to confuse Saddam Hussein. As you can see here, they are precise replicas up to six feet wingspan. Our camera operator, Anna, is shown with one almost as big as her. Welcome once again to Captain Fred's Aviation Theater. Today we're visiting the Palomar Radio Controlled Model Club, and this is the president, Bob Lang. Now, I'm going to give the directions on how to get here. Okay. You go north on Interstate 15 yeah. to Highway 76. That's right. And you turn right, and it's one mile east. It's about three-tenths of a mile east to Panky Road. And it's open to the public free of charge. Free of charge. Uh, the gate is open Saturdays and Sundays when somebody's flying here, generally about six, seven hours a day. We'd like the public to come in and watch. Very good. Uh, what's going to happen here today? Well, today we've had our first annual top dog uh, scale fly-in. Uh, first at this field, we did, used to do this a long time ago, but we haven't had a field to do it at. But we have 27 pilots and planes here today, all competing for People's and Pilots' Choice Awards. Uh, very good airplanes. Very. Some of these guys are really good scale builders. Very a, good pilots. And a beautiful field. This is great. And we've done a lot of work on this thing. Over 100 members have built this field. Okay, let's get started with the radio control model competition. Okay, next ticket. We got a glove. Got some ceiling iron. Nice landing done. This is the biggest model I've ever seen, and it's heavy. We're going to put it down. We're visiting today at the Radio Controlled Model Airplane Competition, sponsored by the Palomar Model Airplane Club. Would you introduce yourself to our audience and tell us about this beautiful model airplane? I'd be happy to, thank you. My name is John Vance. I live in Solana Beach, California. Uh, I've been flying uh, big scale airplanes for about eight years and models in general for about 35. So this particular model here, I'm going to take, uh, take this off to reveal the canopy, um, is a 45% scale, meaning it's 45% the size of a full scale. That's almost half. Well, almost half scale. It's, uh, it's a real airplane. It's a Giles G202. It's a highly aerobatic airplane that's been used in various world competitions. This particular model here weighs right at about 40 pounds. It's powered by a 7 cubic inch, 120 cc's solid state uh, ignition gasoline motor. Uh, it has tuned pipes. It, deliver, it delivers about 17 horsepower. Uh, it has uh, 12 servos. It has two battery packs, two receivers. Uh, it has about 200 flights. Uh, it's a very, very nice airplane. It's a very docile airplane until you start to wiggle the sticks, and then it becomes very, very aerobatic. And uh, this is one of about six big airplanes that I have. This, as a matter of fact, is the smallest airplane that I have. So This is the smallest? Yes, we've got them up to 50%. So uh, it's, uh, they're a lot of fun. Uh, it's, it's a great sport for uh, father and son or father-daughter 
or son, daughter. Uh, my son and I used to do this until he grew up. But uh, well, let's talk a little bit about this plane. Sure. We'll start at the nose. Okay. Uh, the spinner is uh, for fiberglass. Plastic. Well, the, sp the spinner is actually a painted uh, spun aluminum spinner. It's six inches in diameter. Spun uh, aluminum is like a regular airplane spinner. Yes, spin. yes, yes. This one happens to be painted just because the uh, the color scheme called for that. Now the propeller is um, li like a regular uh, airplane very, propeller. Very, very close. It's a true pitch carbon fiber propeller. Uh, this is a men's propeller made in Germany. Uh, it's uh, 30 inches in di diameter, about 11 and a half in pitch. Weighs almost a pound just in the propeller. So we're in the uh, uh, Experimental Aircraft Association, and a lot of home builds have carbon fiber propellers right. on them. Right. So uh, th this is very close to the. It actually it's almost a home build. If it was just a little bit bigger, <laughs> our camera operator could get in it and fly it. It's it's pretty large. Okay. It's pretty large. Now coming on back, uh, the motor or engine. The motor is, is it a four stroke. No, it's uh, it's a two stroke, two cylinder twin motor which has solid state electronic ignition um, and it uh, runs on gasoline with an oil mix. That's cheaper. They're much cheaper, mm -hmm. much cheaper. I can fly uh, six or seven flights for a couple bucks and uh, so that's very, very economical. And what does this plane, this model, cruise at? This model flies anywhere from about 90 to 110 miles an hour and with any aerobatic airplane you want to set it up so that uh, it flies uh, level up the line down the line about the same speed uh, for aerobatic uh, maneuvers. So, uh, okay, I'd like for the camera operator to come in and give us a close up of the front part of this airplane because it's very close to the real thing. And thank you very much for visiting with us today on Captain Fred's Aviation Theater. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. This is our next RC model airplane at the Palomar competition. Let's set it down on the ground. Okay. Would you introduce yourself and tell our viewers about your airplane? I'm Paul Burke. I'm from Palmdale, California. Retired Lockheed. And this is a uh, kit of a Fairchild PT-19, World War II primary trainer. And it trained a lot of them, trained, too. A lot of the people out here have flown it. And it's the airplane, the model is fly just like the real one. It's a ball to fly. I've had it four or five years. This looks like it's a, a balsa wood model airplane. Mostly. The plastic, cow is plastic, everything else is balsa covered with fabric. It's modeled after one up at the Marshfield Air Force Museum. Mm -hmm. Is the fabric Seekonite? It's a uh, plastic uh, simulated fabric. It looks a heat lot shrink. like that. You run an iron shrink, over it? Uh -huh. So, uh, what kind of an engine does this one have? This one has an OS-120 four-stroke. It's a two-stroke? Four-stroke. Four-stroke, uh, which is actually much quieter, quieter than four-stroke. And, and it's, it's more suited for the uh, type of the airplane it was exhibiting. Mm -hmm. A two-stroke engine makes it sound too much like a lawnmower. That's true. And does this one run on car gas? No, this one runs on plain, ordinary model airplane fuel, alcohol and castor oil. Which is more expensive. Oh, a uh, lot more expensive. Uh, some of the engines that run on car gas is much much cheaper. Yeah. That's interesting that it would be a four-stroke engine, but that it runs on model airplane yeah. fuel. And it's also glow plug ignited. It doesn't need a spark or anything like that. Uh -huh. It's like your standard uh, two-stroke model airplane that you, you find at the hobby store. Now, this is a model of an airplane that trained thousands of pilots in World War II. Mm -hmm. uh, what does this model cruise at? Uh, airspeed wise, maybe 75 miles an hour. 75, which is about what the real one Yeah, the real one didn't, uh -huh. didn't do much better. Uh, what else would you like to tell our viewers about it? Uh, I love it. I love well, this airplane. Well, it's my, one of my favorites. I've got a, a whole lot of them, and this one I just love to fly. And it flies realistically, and I can fly it slow, and slower than a lot of people think I can. So it would be good for a beginner? No.
It would? No, it's... Uh, Don't you want a slow-moving airplane for a beginner? You want to uh, be able to control the airplane well first before you try you try something like this. So what would a beginner use? A uh, SIG Cadet. There's nothing better than a SIG Cadet. That's a, a big a wing? A big, big airplane, square fuselage, square, fuselage, square wings. Fly with practically any any motor, and um, they're really really simple to fly. Very good. Thank you for visiting with us today. Sure enough. This is. JATO, Jet Assisted Takeoff. Yes, sir. Support airplane for the Blue Angels. That's correct, sir. Well, let's JATO it down to the ground. <laughs> it does that too, doesn't it? There we are. Yes. Would you introduce yourself and tell our viewers about your airplane? Thank you. Uh, my name is Richard Skoglund. I'm from Lancaster, California. And uh, I drew up and uh, built this airplane from scratch, they call it. Uh, you start with a piece of paper, you draw it, buy the wood, and you build it. And uh, it was a very interesting project. I had a friend in, that flew in the airplane, and so that kind of spurred me on to finish. Uh, does this have a JTO? <laughs> well, that's in the planning works. Mm -hmm. That's very they, they exciting. Do make, they do make little uh, well, jet, jet pods, don't they? Most okay. things nowadays you can find and buy. They're all out there somewhere. What are the characteristics of the of this airplane? Well, this airplane is uh, about 15 pounds, and uh, it has brakes, wing flaps, two engine control. I have two throttles set up. Well, I was going to ask about the engines. Yes. The other airplanes we've seen had one single engine. That's correct. This has four engines. Tell us how you handle four engines. Well, we uh, first of all, we select an engine that's reliable. And uh, you buy four, and uh, you install them, and they're hopefully all identical. Do all four engines work off of one servo? Well, I have two servo control. I actually have control of the inboard engines and the outboards separately. Okay. So I can fly on two engines or on four. So... Uh, Will it fly it, on two engines? We fly it quite often on two. We throttle back to idle, and... Uh, fly on two engines, yes. And what kind of fuel does it run on? Well, it runs on a uh, alcohol, a menthol-based, oil-based fuel. Mm -hmm. It's uh, purchased uh, from the hobby stores in cans and uh, used. And what kind right. of speed would this cruise at? Well, I would think at full power, this airplane will cruise about 80, 90 miles an hour. And is it covered with uh, plastic or fabric? This is a plastic iron-on film that comes pre-colored, and you att attach it with a iron. Oh, so you don't have to paint it? No, there's no painting involved on this airplane. How long did it take you to build Fat Albert? I, uh, I built it in about two and a half months. Uh, maybe uh, 250 hours labor time. And then we flew it and uh, experimented a little bit with it, and... Uh, it's been a very interesting project. I have a group of fellows that work with me. So, uh, is there anything a real else, project. Is there anything else you'd like to tell our viewers about the plane? Uh, hopefully, uh, we'll get to fly it again today, once or twice, and uh, I know all the crowd is waiting to see a four-engine airplane I'm fly. I'm sure so, they are. Uh, maybe we'll try and do that. Thank you for visiting with us today. You're very welcome. Fat Albert, the Blue Angel jet-assisted takeoff support plane. This next model airplane is a B-17. Would you introduce yourself, please, and tell our viewers about your airplane? <laughs> My name's Curtis Kitteringham. Um, this is a B-17. It's a Royal kit. It's powered by four 25 OS engines. Uh, weighs about 10 pounds. I've been flying it over a year now. Uh, I campaigned it all over Southern California and Arizona. Now, this is a kit airplane? It's a kit. It's a build-up. It's a fully sheeted balsa wood and monocoat covering. Balsa wood? Balsa and what is mono sheet? The covering, the green covering is monocoat. Is it's that a brand name monocoat? It's a 
It's a plastic film. A plastic iron on plastic film. Shrink. shrink. There you go. Shrink. Mm -hmm. Like a shrink. Now this one has uh, four engines. Four engines. And uh, is it like Dumbo? You have two inboard and two outboard servos. Right. The inboard engines are on one servo and the outboards are on another. Each engine has its own separate fuel tank. They're eight ounces. Runs for about 15 minutes. And on what kind of fuel? I use Performance Plus 15% four cycle for this airplane. And this model would fly at about what speed? Uh, scale speed, a little more about a uh, jogging speed. A person's jogging means. speed. Uh, very I slow. Never jogged in an <laughs> very slow. Uh, very 30 slow. miles an hour? 40 uh, miles an hour? About 25 miles an hour would be about right, 20, 25. That'd be a correct speed for this model. Actually, that's much better for the camera. Now, the camera has trouble keeping up with the models that fly at 100 miles an hour. Oh, yes. Now, this, this model will fly very slow. Is there anything else you'd like to tell our viewers about this airplane? No, it's, uh, it's predict, it's, uh, depicts an actual aircraft. Two bomb groups. Uh, the Snafu flew in Europe, is the name of the aircraft. Snafu and was a, an official military term. An official term. military term. It was an official airplane and a bomb group out of England. The uh, tail feathers are a bomb group out of France. They flew uh, reconnaissance and pre-mission runs. And so I took the combination of the two aircraft and I thought Snafu fit. So we call it Snafu. Snafu means situation normal, all fouled up. Right. Snafu. Well, that will do it for another adventure with Captain Fred's Aviation Theater. Thank you, Bob Lang, for inviting us here today. We're glad to have you. Glad you showed up. Aviation, Model Aviation needs the publicity, and you've been a big help in us getting that. Thank you. As always, this is Captain Fred saying, I love airplanes, and I honor the people who fly them. And that includes model airplanes, too. <laughs>